you can see that everything in this room is casting a realistic shadow. Wow, look at that. Look at the orange now. Look at that. Up to four times faster than 4090. The best ray tracing you've ever seen. The next generation of video games. Is it just me or are statements like that usually a load of old tosh? Technically, they might be correct, but is it actually worth buying this for ray tracing? Well, today we're finally putting this to the test as Portal RTX is released and we're going to test it. We're going to see the performance. We're going to see the visuals. And ultimately, we're going to see whether the 4090 and the 4080 have a ray tracing card up their sleeves that make them the best for video gaming in 2022. So stay tuned to learn absolutely everything you need to know about Portal RTX after a short word from this video's sponsor. Corsair's K100 Air is here and it is marvelous. This ultra thin mechanical keyboard is perfect for those wanting shorter travel whilst maintaining full gaming prowess. Packing up to 8,000 Hertz of polling rate, Cherry MX ultra low profile switches and gorgeous RGB lighting, what more could you ask for? Get yours today with the link down below. And here we go, look, play Portal with RTX. It's a reality. We'll start our testing with the 4080, then we'll work our way up to the 4090. Oh no, it's not working. Oh, don't do that. Buggy, buggy. Oh, stop crashing on me. No, don't do this load of bummocks. So you press Alt and Insert, and it brings up this new secret menu. And this is where you can choose all of your settings. So we've got DLSS, Super Resolution, DLSS 3, this is what's going to enable you to get those super high frame rates, uses the frame generation, but you can turn all of this stuff off and on if you want. But yeah, here we go, you can see right off the bat you've got some pretty fancy reflections there on that glass. But yeah, it's weird because the assets and things, while they look better than they did, I'm sure a lot better than they did, it's still not the most advanced game, yet you've got this super realistic shadows and reflections. It's kind of strange because it's one of those things that just looks normal in a very, very good way. And that's not something you often get from a video game. It is also worth noting that this is running at 4K with DLSS. So if you're playing at 1440p or 1080p, obviously your frame rate would be a lot higher. I mean, it's a very good reason to play Portal again. I've actually started playing Portal 2 in anticipation. I've already played it, finished it, but I think there are going to be loads of people that haven't actually played Portal before, and this is going to be a great introduction into the original. Maybe they should do this with Half-Life 2 or something, that'd be pretty cool. And it's going to be interesting as well to see how far and how close we can get to this in more modern titles. We do have The Witcher 3 RTX Edition coming out in like a couple of weeks, and while it isn't going to be anywhere near as advanced as this, I'm hoping that actually it's more advanced than everything we've seen before. Almost like that advanced next, next Psycho edition that we're going to get to Cyberpunk when NVIDIA releases that. It is impressive. I'll give them that. Let's go wee. Oh, how did I miss that? That is embarrassing. Now, this is our first look at water and reflections now. And you can see, indeed, in real time, an object giving off light fully dynamically that will of course change in real time with the scene. But you can see that everything in this room is casting a realistic shadow. And unlike in Cyberpunk, when it looks good, but it's really low res and there's quite a big difference between the world and then what you see in the reflections, in the puddles, this actually looks very good. It's very soft, very diffused, but still very detailed. I like that. And look, as we go over that ledge, the shadow disappears, because of course there's a ledge in the way now. Very, very cool. It is impressive. I, I just can't wait until you do get that game that fully takes advantage of, not necessarily this level, but close to this level of RTX, but then all of the other assets do add up and give you that just super sweet experience. Oh, look at that, that's a crazy room. Look at that, boom. In fact, I'm gonna show you a real versus fake here. So this is the original portal you're seeing here, and then bam. RTX, look at the difference. That is quite astounding, but it is to be expected. But that's the more affordable 4080. So we stick in the 4090. Right, we're back with the 4090. We're now looking at around about 110 FPS at 4K DLSS set to performance. So that 30 FPS more, that is quite a big difference actually, isn't it? Wow, look at that. Look at the orange now. Look at that. This video is just going to be me saying, wow, look at that. 
but that is how you're going to feel playing this. It definitely does look pretty cool. I don't think anyone's going to not enjoy this demo. I've been playing it for about an hour or so now, I think. It makes me want to play it properly, actually. Sit down, headphones, you know, like actually experience Portal again for the first time. But it's definitely been cool to walk down these very familiar corridors and get a whole new experience from it. The problem I'm having, though, is that this was the big demo for these cards. I know we have the next gen of Cyberpunk coming, but personally speaking, I don't think a new version of Cyberpunk and a redone version of Portal RTX as good as both will be is necessarily enough for you to go out and have the next generation ray tracing. Cyberpunk itself is brilliant, and I think if the new AMD cards can run that game as well as the previous 30 series did, then that's going to be like the game changer for you. Whereas I don't think there is anything at the moment that would make me personally want one of these cards because they're going to be the best for ray tracing enough to definitely buy it over the competition. They're very expensive, the 4090 has loads of performance and I highly doubt AMD is going to be able to compete with that, but we need more than just tech demos at the moment. Even The Witcher, again as good as I'm sure that will be, is still an older title. We need something to come out is a new must-play, must-have ray trace title and that's what's going to get people buying these cards and not wanting to compromise on visual performance. So while this is great, while the performance actually is not too shabby at all, even at higher resolutions, it's not quite enough for me to recommend these cards specifically for their ray tracing performance. It's great that it has it, DLSS 3, all of those things, perfect. But is it a must have? Is it a must buy? I think Flight Sim with DLSS 3 is more impressive personally, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. What do you make of Portal RTX? Will you be playing when it comes out? Because it is going to be a completely free upgrade if you already have Portal. Same with The Witcher 3 RTX, it's free if you already have the game. So let me know down in the comment section below. Smash this like button if you've enjoyed this video. And of course, as always, if you do want to check out current pricing on anything that's in this rig beside me, maybe watch the full build video, you can find all of that linked down below with my Amazon affiliate links. And while you're there, why why not check out Corsair's K100 Air Wireless? Ideal for both work and play, the K100 Air nets you up to 200 hours of battery life, slipstream or Bluetooth connectivity, and Cherry's ultra low profile key switches. With full per key RGB lighting, a truly wireless design, and complete media control functions, this really is the keyboard of your dreams. Learn more today with the link down below. But thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one.